I used to operate one of those things right there. It's a forklift on three wheels. I used to work at the concrete company years and years ago. We would get pallets of like bricks or pavers and take them to a job site. Mainly it was, you know, if, if somebody's ordering pavers, it, you know, it's used for like a real fancy driveway or a walkway. They're really expensive and every time I would deliver those, it'd be to a really nice residence. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Hope you're doing well. Get my camera straight here. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, I tell you, let's see, what is it? 63 degrees on this beautiful Tuesday here in South Carolina. Heading to work, trying to get another day knocked out. Today, I'm gonna try something a little different. I'm going to go and try the fish sandwich from Arby's. Uh, from what I understand, they had it before and they took it away. And now they brought it back. So we're gonna go try it, see if it's any good. Never know till you try, right? Wonder how much money he's hauling. drive through is pretty crowded. I think we'll go inside for this one. Okay, here is the fish sandwich. And this is a junior, I'm sorry, medium roast beef, potato cakes, and Arby sauce. So let's try this fish sandwich first. Dang, it's a lot of paper. It's gonna give you a lot of paper. <laughs> so here is the fish and flatbread. That's what that is. Fish and flatbread. It looks pretty good. Let's give it a shot. Get rid of all this paper. A lot of paper. There we go, maybe that angle's better. Mmm. <laughs> it's fresh. It tastes good. I like it. So far, so good. Now let's try the potato cakes. Ooh, these are hot. I just bought these out of the fryer. A little Arby sauce. Arby sauce just makes it taste better, in my opinion. Mmm. Very nice. Very nice. For the medium sized roast beef. It's pretty good. Pretty good sandwich. I need some Arby sauce on it though. Arby sauce. Now that'll make a good roast beef sandwich. <laughs> That's good. It's a good sandwich. Nice job, guys. <laughs> Fish sandwich <laughs> and uh, and the medium-sized roast beef, which everybody's had roast beef from Arby's, but I wanted to try that fish sandwich. They have three different kinds. They have uh, uh, one that's on the, on the bun, just a regular bun. Another kind that's on the uh, King Hawaiian bun, like a roll, I guess. But it's a you know pretty good size, and then that flatbread. I've always favored flatbread for some reason. I I, I enjoy it. Um, one out of ten. Uh, I'm going to give that experience a nine. It was really good. I didn't have to wait long for the food. The food was fresh. 
everything was hot and the service was excellent as you saw I rang the bell for good service and um, very good well done Arby's well done I will be back Well, we've made it to the workplace once again. You know the routine. Let's see if the truck's here. Hopefully. Uh, let's ride down here and check out some truck numbers. Just to be safe. Yep, it's here. Thank goodness. Now, yesterday, when I got here, I had to wait over two hours for my truck. And I had somebody ask me, what do you do if your truck is not there? A subscriber, I think Ron, asked me that question on the video yesterday. And, of course, I responded to Ron's question, but I'll go ahead and say it on here. If we get here and the truck's not here, we have to wait on it, usually. Unless they want to put us in a rental truck. Uh, but they didn't have any rentals available yesterday. So, I had to wait. Uh, because what they do here is called slip seat. Uh, so in other words, when I get back from my run early in the morning, there's going to be a driver ready to get in that truck to take off for his run for his shift. So that's how it works here. Uh, sometimes you wait, sometimes you don't. It doesn't happen all the time, but sometimes it does. They have to pay you for waiting. I mean, that's, that's all well and good, but I just a lot of times I don't like waiting. I like to be able to get in my truck and get down the road and get back at my regular time so I can go home, you know, but it's all good. It's just part of the part of the game. You got to know how to play the game. Thank you everybody for joining me on my daily vlog number 58. As you can see, I'm in the truck. I didn't have to wait today. I'm able to go. Let's turn the key on. Get everything ready here. And me and Eddie are going to head to Savannah and deliver some milk. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for joining. Until then, let me start this up. This buzzing is driving me crazy. Have a great day, folks. <laughs> see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.